What is estrogen dominance? I've heard of it, but I don't know exactly what it is. Well, I get this question daily, so here is my brief tutorial. The answer is, it is simply too much estrogen in relation to your progesterone. All hormones are meant to be in balance. You do not want estrogen to be dominant. There are many, many symptoms and they are miserable. Now, we are led to believe that only estrogen drops as we age, but the truth is that progesterone drops way before estrogen. It drops when no ovulation occurs, and then the estrogen in your system becomes unopposed and dominant. This can happen in your 30s and sometimes earlier, which causes PMS. Now, I have a handout for the symptoms, and if you email me, I will put it in your hands. They include weight gain, bloating, hair loss, irregular cycles, insomnia, and low libido. As if these are not bad enough, there are more. I've got a flyer, the estrogen dominant flyer, with all of the symptoms. Now, here is the norm in a menstrual cycle. Estrogen is the prevailing hormone for the first two weeks leading up to ovulation. Estrogen is then balanced by progesterone during the last two weeks. You get out of balance when you do not ovulate, and estrogen now becomes a bully to your body. EDOM is increasingly common in women of all ages from the 20s, which is the PMS, and on into the 40s and 50s and beyond. So you say, well, Barbara, if my estrogen is declining as I age, how am I estrogen dominant? Answer, you are making no progesterone, but did you know you still make estrogen at approximately 50% of what you made before peri or menopause? Estrogen levels never decline to zero. This is a myth. It is manufactured in our fat cells. Estrogen dominance is exacerbated if you've been taking synthetic estrogen pills, which only add more estrogen to what's in your body, and the symptoms will worsen. Also, environmental estrogens come in from all over the you know, universe and affect us and our bodies and make us even more dominant. There are two groups of you sharing the same problem. Number one, you women who are in your reproductive years, you can uh, experience cramps, PMS, irregular cycles, endometriosis, heavy bleeding, fibrocystic breasts, uterine fibroids, anxiety, thyroid problems, and infertility. Number two group is women in peri and menopause, and you can have fatigue, decreased sex drive, weight gain, osteoporosis, hair loss, and brain fog, as well as all the symptoms of the younger women. Now you ask Barbara, okay, why do we even need progesterone or estrogen? Aren't we supposed to have low hormones as we age? Well, ladies, recall that women used to die in their 60s many centuries ago, so they didn't have many years to suffer with low hormones. But now our average age of life is 85, so hormones are key to feeling and looking great. The decrease in estrogen levels in women as they age has interested doctors for many years. Listen to this. Synthetic estrogen was developed in the 1920s when researchers were studying the ovaries of little pigs and they found bioidentical estrogen. But of course, when it was discovered that this could be made into a drug, the drug was presented to women to relieve symptoms. The very first synthetic estrogen drug was called Eminin. Then along came Premarin, which is made from horse urine, Ogen, Estratest, and all the others. There's over 28 other uh, names of these drugs. And women were said, these drugs will heal you. So we took them. But why do we find that our grandmas, great-grandmas, and great-great-grandmas never use these hormones? Well, they were not women who ran to the doctor. They just persevered. We, the younger generation, were trained to be very dependent on doctors. So we went to the doctor, got offered the synthetics, and millions of women said yes. But these women were actually exacerbating their symptoms because, because they became even more dominant. 
Next, after that, there was an epidemic of Valium in the 50s called Mother's Little Helper, and it was to calm down the anxiety-ridden, depressed, and feeling crazed women who now had hormones way out of balance. And that goes on with anti-anxiety drugs being offered to you. And the breast cancer epidemic began after this drug was given freely. It was not until 2002, many, many years later, when the National Institutes of Health gave their grave warning about synthetics. And that's when the bioidenticals, specifically balancing yourself with progesterone, got its rightful attention. But it was not soon enough for the women who got breast cancer, ovarian cysts, fibroids, endometriosis, and fibrocystic breasts. Now you know better. No synthetic hormones. Promise. Is this you? You already know you're dominant? Do not panic. There is a solution. And you want to start now before things get any worse. Number one is progesterone cream. Here's my favorite little pro help. The use of natural bioidentical progesterone will restore hormone balance. You can detox your body from excess estrogens and you just get a product that contains DIM, capital D, capital I, capital M. And I, you can um, watch my estrogen detox video below. I'll put the link or email me for my written handout. Number three is Vitex, little chaste berry. It's a natural estrogen receptor influencer that modulates the receptors and helps increase progesterone to help you balance. Okay, estrogen dominance be gone at any age. Email me if you would like the handouts. I also have one, and if you have a loved one that's on synthetic hormones, I've got this for you. It tells you why to get off and how, and then there's how to um, get the xenoestrogens eliminated from your body. Okay, I have been studying hormones for over 30 years with doctors from all over the United States and the world. And the good ones are on your side and will not give you synthetics. So I promised this would be a short video. And here you go. You now know my best friends for you uh, to take care of the problem and balance yourself out. And I've just tried to give you estrogen dominance in a nutshell. Or at least a Barbara nutshell. I am an educator and I love to teach. But I truly did try to be brief. <laughs> Okay, off you go to hormone balance.